I'm gonna drink this. Holding a milk. Holding a milk. What's going on, everybody? For Don't Wake the Baby, I'm Jeffrey Wiegand, and this is Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And my guest today is my wife, Aubrey Wiegand. You know her from Instagram. She's from Pocosin, and she's Jackson's mom. Welcome to the show. How are you with hot foods? Uh, well, I like to think I like hot foods, but this might change my mind. Fortunately, this is just an abbreviated hot ones. We're not doing all the hottest sauces, but we do still have the hottest of the hot ones, the last dab, so. I brought this on myself because I bought these for him. Yes. So I guess let's get into it. The first one is the classic, no big deal. See how it goes. Pretty good. No big deal. You made it through high school and college avoiding reading books and now you read every night. You even made it your 30th birthday challenge to read 30 different authors throughout the year. Tell me about this newfound love of books and where it came from. Uh, honestly, it came from your cousin Amanda. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I was in high school and college, I just felt like I could do, have more fun doing other stuff. So after college, um, Amanda was like, you really need to read some books. And uh, the first book she told me to read were the Twilight books. No regrets, no shame. Um, and just from there, I kind of just kept going. So what's your favorite author series that you've come across? Give us a recommendation. Um, favorite series is gonna be all the Shadow Hunters series by Cassandra Clare. Um, you know, there's a few different trilogies and then the six series book series. Um, my newfound favorite author is actually Frederick Bachman. Bachman. He's Swedish. Um, and I have loved all of his books so far. That's one of the books I'm currently reading because I'm in the middle of three books, but one of them is his and it's uh, the second book to, it's a sequel to a book I just read last month. And you mentioned reading three books at the same time. I was going to ask you about that. You like to have five books out of the library all the time. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you read five books at once? I mean, what's the, what's the point? Well, you know, I never used to understand people reading more than one book at a time. But now I totally get it because sometimes you might not be in the mood for the book that you're reading. So you want to pick up another book that's, you know, one might be really emotional. Like Frederick Bachman has pretty emotional themes throughout his books. Um, so if that's too emotional, you might want to pick up something that's more carefree and fun loving, like a, a romantic comedy type book. Um, and just, you know, it's just, well, it depends on what you're in the mood for. If they're not similar enough, then it's not hard to pick up where you left off between the different. Okay, next wing, Hippy Dippy Green. I've been excited about this one. So as relative new parents, we're contractually obligated to mention our son Jackson every 20 minutes, so that's what this question is At about. Least. At least. Uh, what's the cutest thing Jackson's done this week? Oh my gosh. So many things? I can't even answer that. Um, He's sitting here with us while we eat. Can you say hi? No. Uh, well, I told you when I was reading Bambi the other night. There's a part where there's a part where the uh, girl doe licks Bambi on the face, and when I read that part, Jackson turned to me, uh, his tongue out, and he wanted to lick my face. So that was pretty cute. I didn't let him lick my face though, because that would have been weird. Um, now that he's talking, he says lots of funny things sometimes, and he sings. Uh, he watched part of Bohemian Rhapsody with me the other day, 
So he was singing We Are the Champions at the end, which was really cute, and I loved it because Queen's one of my favorite bands. So what's the best part about staying home with them and then the worst part about being home with them all the time? The best part is getting to see him grow up and all the stuff that he learns and does and he makes me laugh a lot because he does really silly things sometimes. Um, the worst, and plus I have to kiss him like every 45 seconds, so it's, it's good it's to required. be with him all day for that. Um, the worst part is, I don't want to say being stuck because that sounds really bad, but like I can't just like go somewhere by myself. Like I have to put him in the car oh, to go with me. Oh, Jackson has to go with us on adventures, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you know, and when he's napping, sometimes he naps for three hours and it's like, oh, this would be a really good time to go to Kroger and get grocery shopping done, but I can't just leave him. So yeah. I want to say stuck because that sounds really bad, but it's like, you know, it's having a new limb that goes with me everywhere. I think the drums are hard to. The drums are hard to sauce. I don't know what I'm doing when, when I'm tossing wings. So for those that don't know, we play in a Survivor Fantasy League. Uh, we draft players from the Survivor TV show, and when they do th stuff, we get points. Shout out to the Robesons. Shout out to the Robesons. And Paul. My team's in last place, obviously. So which do you enjoy more? The Survivor Fantasy game or managing the spreadsheet as our scorekeeper? Yes, I'm a nerd. Um, I really like Excel and I made this whole Excel spreadsheet because we originally had a website we were using and it got rushed by that, uh, hacked by the Russians. So we moved on and made our own. Um, I mean, I had fun making the spreadsheet because I had to make the formula and everything, but now that we've been doing it for so many seasons, I don't. all I have to do is plug in numbers now, so the, I think the league is probably more fun at this point, but making the spreadsheet was fun for me. So Survivor is constantly tweaking the rules to keep the game fresh. How can, how can our league tweak our rules to keep it fresh for us? What do you think? What's your best idea? I feel like, you know, I just made... I just made trophies. We've been doing this for, this is our eighth season doing this. So there's two seasons per year. Um, so this is our eighth season doing this. And I just now made trophies. Um, so I feel like that kind of adds an element because for before we were just playing for bragging rights and now we're playing for trophy and bragging rights. Um, and you know, when the, the game changes this season, there's a whole new twist that we don't even know how we're gonna incorporate yet, even though we're, three episodes in. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think the trophy was... We'll have to brainstorm something. Yeah. I think we need to come up with more fun rules for more uh, fun points. I feel like the only reason I haven't won yet is because I don't check your work on the score sheet. Is that is that what's happening here? I mean... Is that why I keep losing? I would say the scorekeeper always wins, but I've only won once out of the seven seasons we've done. Yeah. Um, but maybe the Robesons are paying me under the table. Eh? Way to give it away. There's a theory. Way to give it away. All right, moving on. Chiba Gold. I was excited about this one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Come on, light. Do you need a bite? No. You got yours? I'm getting some. Kind of like down in the throat a little bit. <sighs> Ice cold water. That feels good. That is the only time he will ever say that. He hates water. I hate water, but it's going to be my lifesaver today. So you love watching movies. But I've never heard you say anything bad about any movie. You'd be a terrible movie critic. So what I want to hear is, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? Hot Rod. Hot Rod? Sorry, Steven. Oh, someone's not going to be happy. 
Um, I don't know what it was about that movie. I love Andy Samberg. I just did not like that movie. I did not think it was funny. I, I mean, maybe I need to revisit it. It's been quite a few years since I've seen it, but I did not like that movie. So what's the worst DVD you own? Well, that's a tough one because I just got rid of so many. Remember? You got rid of two. <laughs> okay, this time. But when Jackson was coming, I like cut it in half. Um, so you can include any of those. Go ahead. Um, Corky Romano was probably a bad one. Chris Tan. What about your favorite movies? What are your favorite movies? Favorite movies. See, that's a really tough one. Um, Give me five in no particular order. I have in no particular order. Um, Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Um, the Goonies, which you still have not seen. Probably The Little Mermaid. Ooh, Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Is that three? Three. Do we have all day for this? Um, Breakfast Club. Apparently I like 80s movies. Breakfast Club. Um... We'll round it out with a Heath Ledger. See, Night's I Tale. I do like Night's Tale, but I haven't seen it in a really long time. So I'll say The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. Oh my gosh. Really? Okay. I mean, if you... You got me under the gun here. That's what the wings of death will do to you. I'm getting cold at this point. So we have a recurring segment on this show called Explain That Gram, where we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, pull interesting pictures that need more context. So I'll show you the picture and you just tell me the bigger story. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. Laptop, we're not using a laptop. Okay, first picture. I'm, I already know the story of this one and I'm mad about it, but I'm... So this is when we were in Hawaii this past fall, uh, 2018. And we were at Joshua and Denise's waiting to eat dinner, and the sun was setting, and they have this sign that says, Be well, you're going to show the picture, but anyway, I had to get the obligatory sunset picture, um, and you were trying to get one without my knowledge, and I went and showed you a couple options, said, which one should I use, and you were so mad that I had gotten such a good one. No, the story was I was trying to take that picture first with my fancy camera and you come up behind me right afterwards and take it with your cell phone and it turns out way better than anything I took, so. You're welcome. Wasted all that money on a big expensive camera. Yeah, this one, this one creeps up on you. See how it turns out. Are you using it? <laughs> no, no, I'm not feeling it. It's not bad. It's good though, I like the yeah. sauce. Gosh, you have a lot of pictures on here. This one. So, apparently as a baby, I used to be able to sleep anywhere. I guess I still kind of can. Still applies. My question is, how'd you get a picture of me in there? Because when we were making our video for our wedding, your mom gave me all of the pictures and videos, and I got a whole thing of pictures of you as a kid. Hmm. So backstory, long before Jackson was born, uh, probably two and a half years before Jackson was born, I saw a picture on Google, and I also have that on my Instagram if you go back far enough, um, of a toddler dressed up as Carl Fredrickson from Up, the old man from Up, and I said, I need to do this. So this year, when Jackson was almost two years old, it was his real first, first real Halloween, um, we dressed him up as Carl Fredrickson, and he carried a cane and balloons around. <laughs> you really shake. <sighs> this one's called The Last Dab. We call it The Last Dab because it's tradition around here. Put a little extra on the last wing. I'm gonna, oh gosh. You don't have to if you don't want to. Go on, going all in. Oh, okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. Got 
Gotta show the camera. There's my dad. So you know I'm not cheating. Does that count? I, I mean, ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it that time. There are no rules. Fortunately, we're skipping some of the hotter ones, but you know, we got the hottest one, so here we go. This is the last dab. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Instant, huh? Instant. I didn't even take the <coughs> dab yet. You didn't even take the dab yet. Oh my gosh. How are we gonna finish that bottle? What else are we gonna put this on? How are you doing over there? I'm doing it. Oh gosh. Good thing nap time's coming up soon. I'm gonna drink this. Holding, holding a milk. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna finish this? Oh. Shouldn't have licked fingers. Ugh. <coughs> Almond milk is the worst. Milk helps but only for a minute. Oh my god. Adding gosh. some regular milk. Oh, ugh. Almond oh, milk's disgusting. I've never had milk with wings before, but... I feel like my mouth is sweating. Like my mouth. Ugh. <laughs> Pretzel? Pretzel. <laughs> mm. Uh, hey, cracker. That didn't help. It didn't help at all. Oh my gosh. Oh, how am I supposed to ask a question now? Oh my gosh. You're failing at intimidating Sean Evans right now. Let me just tell you. Shout out Sean Evans for doing this with a straight face the whole time. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. So, now that you have a million <laughs> scoble, oh man. <laughs> now that you have a million scoble running through your veins. You're gonna hurt later. <laughs> How much do you hate me for making you do this? <laughs> you know, I could have said no. I could have not bought you the Hot Ones pack. You just hinted that you wanted, ugh. The least three spicy. The least three spicy. But you got me the last dab. You you brought this on yourself. I did. I did. Ugh. Oh man. And how much are you gonna love having this on the internet later? Ugh. I'm okay with that. I did my hair for this. I don't. Oh my god. Almond milk is so gross. <laughs> Here, have some more. This is the last of the milk we have. Mmm. <sighs> Mmm. Try an ice cube. I need like chapstick. Uh, oh, excuse me. My lips are on fire. Oh, uh, was that the last of my question? Oh my gosh. I can't do that anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to just screw up almond milk after all of this. <laughs> It's gonna be the almond milk that gets me. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't cry, but my nose was running. Okay. So we made it through the wings of death. There's only one thing left to do, roll out the red carpet. This camera, this camera, or... The heavens. We only have two cameras, so... There you go. What do you have to say? I'm a stay-at-home mom. I never have anything going on. Um, any uh, potty training suggestions, take those too. This is my life. My toddler is my life. This is the worst plug I've ever heard. Uh, I got nothing going on.